Thank you, Anna, and thank you to the organizers for the opportunity to present today. Uh, thank you also very much for embracing um, engineers also at this, uh, at this conference. Um, I'm a geologist, mineralogist, as many of you perhaps know, but uh, today I definitely have my engineer's hat on, and I'm going to talk for, for the next 10 minutes about the PRIF uh, Industry uh, Consortium. Uh, we heard from, Jeff, uh, from, uh, from John Anderson a little bit earlier um, about these two major projects at the University of Adelaide and University of South Australia, uh, the ARC Training Centre for Integrated Operations, but there's also the PRIF as well. So I'm just going to take you through who we are and what we have been doing. Why a mining consortium and why here in, in Adelaide? Well, innovation doesn't stop with discovery. We've heard about some fantastic discoveries today, and you know, I really wish everybody a great success in finding ore deposits. But at the end of the day, um, to actually open up a mine and make that mine productive and, uh, and economic does require um, a whole lot of innovation further down uh, the value chain. So the PRIF consortium is designed to integrate the entire mining value chain by, by using sensors, machine learning, and data analytics to create technology solutions um, for SA's mineral industry today and into the future. We address end user challenges to maximize value from complex resources, and many of them are very, very complex in South Australia, to minimize environmental impact and to contribute to ESG targets. We also aim to demonstrate the value and provide uh, innovative tools for integration between the resource mining or delivery processing leaching stages, and not least, not least to commercialize technological outcomes for global market opportunities in collaboration with our translation partners. So who are we? Uh, it's a five-year initiative, um, largely funded by the, by the state government. It started in October 2017, uh, with total in cash and in-kind uh, resources of just over $14 million. Just go back. Our end date at the moment is uh, February next year, but we have sought uh, an extension which will take us through until mid-2024. Uh, we've got 17 different industry partners involved and two universities, University of Adelaide uh, and University of South Australia, with a total of uh, 14 research projects and 11 translation projects. And these projects are aligned to the needs of our end users, that being Oz Minerals for our Program A and BHP Olympic Dam for our Program B. Uh, and we have also 15 uh, experienced researchers in mining, minerals processing, and computing uh, on board in the project as well. And the focus is very much on fusion across those traditional boundaries. Uh, at both universities, there's a great belief that tomorrow's mining industry is going to need people with interdisciplinary, transdisciplinary uh, skills. And it's particularly important for us to get the computer scientists working together with the geologists and the processing people. So, as I said, Program A is upstream, and that is going from uh, resource definition, drill and blast, through to the stockpiles, and then we've got Program B, which is downstream, uh, which is going through the, uh, the processing down to our uh, concentration, the smelter and refinery. So far, 14 of the projects out of 25 are completed, 11 of them still are still running. Uh, we have pathways to potential commercialization identified in collaboration with some of our translation partners, in particular with MapTech, with Magato, ECA, Manda Controls, and we're working now with MedSignited to uh, accelerate commercialization of some of these outcomes. Uh, there's a website with far more information than I can possibly give you in 10 minutes, and I put the address down there. We also have a standout in the, in the other room. In a total of 149 publications coming out so far, which is testimony to the real hard work uh, that our team has been doing. We've also awarded 17 Women in Mining Technology Scholarships in the lifetime of the PRIF, which is uh, something we're very, very proud of. We've involved PhD level, masters, honor students, and bachelor students in some of our projects from both universities, and they are also uh, there as well-trained, uniquely skilled professionals, uh, which will enter the workforce in the future. I'm just gonna take you very quickly through four of the projects which we've earmarked for continuation into next year. And the first one of these is new sensors uh, for particle size online measurement in hydrocyclones. You might have seen uh, Defan's poster outside a little bit earlier. 
Uh, this one is about trying to find new ways, cheap ways, to measure particle size, that all-important uh, parameter in hydrocyclones, and so have a much better way uh, to monitor and optimize uh, the processing cycle. The second one of these is uh, working together very closely with Magato on Magapulp for improved predictive flotation models and process performance. Um, again, this is designed to really integrate um, across disciplines from processing to uh, the computer science people, machine learning, uh, and so on, to optimize better the application of Magapulp to, to our end users and therefore achieve significant savings in terms of chemicals, water, energy, and so on. The third one is uh, fast uh, ROM stockpile modeling for blending operations, actually using algorithms to understand how better to build and extract from uh, stockpiles. And the fourth one is identifying constraints and uncertainty. Uncertainty, a very important word, in resource domain boundaries. So actually looking at better ways to use uh, algorithms and uh, AI techniques to better uh, model our domain boundaries um, in our ore plan moving forward. Again, aimed at optimization, aimed at doing things better. Not ignoring the geologists, of course, but actually using models that can take us further, faster, and, and better than we have been doing until now. I'm now just going to show you a, a video um, in which various people involved in the PRIV consortium uh, talk about their work. And apparently, if I click once more, this is now going to play. The PRIV Consortium has placed Adelaide and its two universities at the forefront of researching complex mining and mineral processing. The PRIV brings together many, many different disciplines and this is a really good environment for solving some challenging problems. After just four years, we have 10 research students and eight postdoctoral researchers. One problem that MapTech got involved with in the PRIF is assessing the economic impact of geological uncertainty. We develop a new sensor. This cost-effective sensor can save mining companies a lot of time and money. The unique thing in our project is that we are using artificial intelligence and methods inspired by the nature. It allows companies to optimize these processes to increase the mineral yield and the rate of recovery. We can make significant savings in money up to $150 million per year. And that is representing 2% increase in copper recovery, 15% increase in throughput, and up to 17% increase in copper production. The real beauty will be when we can integrate all of these solutions into a comprehensive ESG framework. South Australia is an awesome place to be in the mining industry. We've got all the professions, the faculties at the university that are bringing the uh, academic expertise to the mining problem. And we've got quite a few mining technology companies like MapTech who are based in Adelaide as well. I'm exposed to so many different disciplines, engineering, chemistry. My world is just theory. To actually see science in action is amazing. In Adelaide, we have two major mining companies that are collaborating in this research and significant amount of translation partners, giving me significant exposure, going to site, doing work on site, and also being able to interact with experts from the mining industry. Everything in Adelaide is close to everything else, which allows collaboration to happen really easily. And yet it's big enough to have a critical mass of key people working all together. The PRIF Consortium opens up the opportunities to develop solutions for our customers using new technologies developed by the universities and that gives us a place to test these things in the mines. So thank you, that's the end of my presentation, but uh, please check out the Consortium website for more details. And if you've got any questions, just uh, uh, send a message through to either myself or to Tatiana, our project manager. Thank you.